After months apart, the South community unites to celebrate the class of 2020. District technology teachers, including one of South's own, put their talents to use for a meaningful cause. Spanish students use newfound vocabulary to thank the frontline workers. All this and more coming up now on The Falcon Report. Good morning once again, and thank you for joining us for this Friday, the 29th of May, 2020. I'm Aiden Andrews. After months of self-isolating from friends and teachers, the South community came together, almost, to commemorate the senior class of 2020. Let's turn to another Aiden, the Falcon Report's Aiden Nabrowski, for more on how the celebration came to be and its outcome. Thanks for joining us, Aiden. The South community took advantage of the beautiful weather this past Tuesday to host their very own 2020 Senior Parade. While taking precautionary measures, students and their families remain inside their cars as they circle the parking lot of South's front entrance. <laughs> Starting at 5 p.m., Ms. Maureen Henry, along with the entire South faculty, lined up the sidewalk to congratulate the graduates. <laughs> cars were adorned with elaborate decorations as students accepted gift bags and lawn signs that honored their academic achievements. The local fire and police department also joined in on the fun, congratulating the senior class as they passed. The 7 p.m. approach, staff began to pack up from a successful day of celebration. Having enjoyed the parade, South members found it was a great way to safely connect during this difficult time. Intense demand for protective face coverings has continued to soar throughout this pandemic. To aid our local first responders, technology education teachers from across the district have teamed up to create face masks for those who need them the most. The Falcon Board Saeed Ali joins us now to tell us more. So Saeed, do you know how many face masks have been made and distributed? That's right Aiden, alongside the other technology teachers in the district, SAT's very own Mr. Christopher Vigiano worked to help frontline workers against the coronavirus, producing nearly 85 protective masks. With their skills and knowledge of 3D printing, laser cutters, and construction, Mr. Vigiano and the other technology teachers volunteered their time to go between the schools in the district to get to work. So basically, once we had the approval from the administrators, um, me and Ms. Flynn actually went and started over at South in the morning. We were able to lay about 50 or so, 60 or so prints over at the machines, the 3D printers over at South. All in all, I mean, it was a great opportunity to basically, you know, give back to those people on the front lines, which is the most important thing. After completing the masks, they were distributed to district employees, the fire department of New York, EMTs, and nurses on the front lines of South Nassau Hospital. With there being a shortage of masks at the time, South community members were able to help others in this time of uncertainty. The dedication of our technology department definitely shows. As essential workers' efforts continue to keep our community safe, students in Ms. Filomena Revietzo's Spanish 1.2 classes have put forth their gratitude, all while practicing their Spanish skills. More on how the Spanish class put together their projects is the Falcon Board's Hustan Rana. Thanks for joining us, Hustan. Thanks, Aiden. This past week, the students of Mrs. Filomena Revietzo's Spanish 1.2 classes have been applying the knowledge of how to give back to essential workers. Despite the closure of schools, the students have continued their education, honing their skills of the Spanish language, Focusing recently on the health unit, to begin their health unit, the Spanish students were tasked with writing a nicely decorated letter to an essential worker in Spanish using the health vocabulary they had learned. Finally, using Flipgrid, the students recorded a video of themselves dedicated to the essential workers out loud. Querido Padre, gracias por proteger a la ciudad de Nueva York. Pienso que usted es valiente porque agresa tu vida diariamente. Espero que Dios te proteja y tengo un buen día. Completing the project, the students were able to practice their skills of reading and writing in Spanish, while also being given the opportunity to thank essential workers who have been working tirelessly during this pandemic. Definitely a unique way to show the gratitude. On the topic of appreciation, this year's Memorial Day may have been a challenge to come together. However, the Valley Stream community still found a way to honor and remember those who bravely fought for our country's freedom. The Falcon Board Connor Menzies joins us now. Thanks, Aiden. Despite the difficulty of holding community gatherings in recent months, the Valley Stream community found a way to continue its tradition of honoring Memorial Day this past Monday. 
held at the town's official memorial. The audience was encouraged to listen in through their car radios as Mayor Edwin Fair, as well as military and other town officials gave speeches. We pray for their families. We thank them for their willfully lending them to our nation for our benefit. While the event was altered to follow safety guidelines, meaningful words that were spoken captured the noble contributions of Valley Stream soldiers nevertheless. And in honor of these men and women who did not return, stop today and remember what Memorial Day is all about. The ceremony closed with a ritual bugle piece and shots fired for the fallen. Ultimately, community members left feeling gracious for the essential work that young men and women committed for the betterment of our country. When the Falcon Report returns, we'll view another wave of submissions for South Speak sent by you. But first, a bird's eye view of South High School's athletic field. The Falcon Report will be right back. I think I'm gonna go study now. Oh, come on, just one more quick movie. No, really, I think I really need to study. I have a test this week. Oh, okay. I'll just watch a movie by myself then. I need to finish this year off strong. I can't start procrastinating now. My future depends on me. I'm so close, all this hard work will finally pay off. Oh my god, what'd you get? I only got an F. Although the last week of May is already upon us, and with summer not far behind, will the rainfall from last week continue once more? Let's turn it over to Colin Chen who will tell us what to expect for this weekend's forecast. Colin, please tell me we can get outside this weekend. Definitely so, Aiden. However, we aren't out of the woods just yet, as this weekend's forecast continues on with rainfall, starting with today. We should expect showers throughout the day, with precipitation chances at 62%, along with possible sun and clouds at 70 degrees. We'll transition into tomorrow with AM showers and precipitation chances at 55%, and possible sunshine later in the day at 76 degrees. On Sunday, we'll enjoy sunshine throughout the day with precipitation chances at a low 10%, and an overall pleasant day at 71 degrees. Be sure to get out and enjoy the sun when possible, but as always, stay dry and inside south. Back to you, Aiden. The South community continues to send in rounds of positivity for yet another edition of South Speaks. Let's take a look at the submissions of inspiration sent by you. Cause you're a sky, cause you're a sky full of stars. I'm gonna give you my heart. Cause you're a sky, cause you're a sky full of stars. Cause you light up the path. That's all for this edition of the Falcon Report. From our entire staff and yours truly, stay safe and have a great week in South.